Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the most popular user interface for Stable Diffusion, Automatic 1111. We will cover how to find a Stable Diffusion model file, how to install some of the most popular extensions that you might want and need, and I'll show you how to make your first image in Stable Diffusion and Generative AI. This guide is for Windows PC with Nvidia cards with at least 4GB of VRAM. If you're on Mac on Linux, you can still use Automatic 11.11 and I will have the installation link in the video description. However, this video step-by-step -step guide will be for PC. After this video, you will be well along your way to create AI images and I will guide you towards the next step if you want to continue evolving and learning about generative AI. Let's get started. My wife asked me to stop singing Wonderwall for her. I said maybe. So in the video description, you will find a link that goes to this web page. And this is Automatic 1111 on GitHub. You can also Google Automatic 1111 and find the first link on GitHub Stable Fusion Web UI. Don't be alarmed at this page as it can look fairly complex for beginners, but we're not going to need to use the majority of the info here. You're just going to scroll down until you find installation and running. And here you can see automatic installation on Windows. So there are literally three steps actually here to install Stable Diffusion or Automatic 1111, which is a user interface for Stable Diffusion, not to be confused with the Stable Diffusion models. But let's get to that in a bit. First, you need to download Python 3106. So you're going to press this link and scroll down here. And you're going to find Windows Installer 64 bit. Download that one. Then we'll head back to the installation instructions. And on step two, we will download Git. Now we haven't installed Python yet, but we'll do that in a second. So we're downloading Git, which will, you will use the standalone installer. 64 bit git for Windows setup. Download that file. Once you've downloaded those files, you will see them in your downloads folder. Start with double clicking the Python. Make sure that you check this box add Python to path. This is very important. Then press install now. Python is now installing. This shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. You can now close this. Now we need to install git. Double click that. Here we're going to press next. You can leave everything here default and just press next again. Again, press next. As we will not be using git for anything more than one or maybe two simple commands, you don't need to care about the editor. So just leave this again default and press next. Let git decide, press next. Again, leave everything default and just press next. After you press next with all the default settings, Git is now installing on your computer. And Git is the application that we will use to download files from GitHub. And that is where Automatic 1111 is stored, worked on, developed, and updated. I'm going to unclick view release notes and just press finish. We have now installed the prerequisites for Automatic 1111 and Stable Diffusion. So we can now go back to the install instructions and we will copy paste this line here. Now, if you're an advanced user, you will recognize that this URL is the same one that's from the code up here. So in the future, if you are on GitHub and find something that you want, you can press the little code button here and find the link here. But that was just some secondary information. You want to copy paste this. Now open Explorer window and create a folder where you want your Stable Fusion to be. I'm creating a folder here named A1111. And I'm entering that folder. Now I'm going to press up here and I'm going to type in CMD to open a command prompt. You can also open a command prompt from your start menu, but then you won't be in this directory. Here you're going to copy paste the git clone text. Git is the program that we installed. Clone will copy the files to your computer. Press enter. Now your files are being copied to your computer. And this should be 
fairly fast depending on your internet connection. For me, it took about five seconds. Automatic 11.11 is now on your computer. If you open your folder, you will see lots of folders and files, which may confuse you, but don't worry. Now you can start your stable diffusion already by using the web UI user batch file. However, I recommend that we do some changes. We're going to open Notepad. And we're going to drag this file into Notepad. And here, again, this is not necessary, but this will greatly improve your experience. We're going to add a space, two dashes, and write X formers. This will speed up your stable fusion generation. We will also type dash dash auto launch. This will automatically launch a browser window when you start automatic 1111. Now, if you are on a GPU of, let's say, maybe four to six, maybe eight gigabytes of VRAM, you could add dash dash med VRAM. This will lower your VRAM usage and will make Stable Fusion easier to use on your computer. I have 10 gigabytes of VRAM on my RTX 3080, so I will not use this. However, I will use Xformers and AutoLodge. I will save the file. Now we need to download the model. There are official Stable Fusion models. However, I recommend that you go to a page like Civitei and that you download a community train model because that will make your images look better. You can look at all the models available and pick something that suits you. For example, checking the highest rated of all time. Some good choices for you to start with are deliberate model, rev animated, realistic vision, as these will be easy to use and generate good images for you. Let's take the deliberate model. Here you can download the file. And once your file has been downloaded, you will put them inside your stable diffusion folder models stable diffusion and it says put stable diffusion checkpoints here now the files are fairly big as you can see here this is 1.99 gigabytes quickly fill up your computer's hard drive if you want to test a lot of different models on the page here you can also see which base model it was trained on sd 1.5 or stable diffusion 1.5 is the most commonly used stable diffusion model. There are newer versions, but 1.5 has so far been one of the best models to use. So when people talk about stable diffusion models, they are talking about this version. The program that we installed, Automatic 1111, is not related to the stable diffusion model. That is entirely different. I will now drag my model file in here. I can now go back to the root folder stable diffusion web UI and start web UI user and make sure that you're starting the batch file or the dot bat. Now, as this is your first time starting automatic 1111 and stable diffusion, it will download some files and install torch, torch vision and, and various items. This can take up to an hour if you have a slow computer and a slow connection and about 10 to 15 minutes if you are on a faster system. Sometimes it might look like it has stopped and crashed, but just give it a few minutes and I'm sure it will catch up. For a lot of people, it will actually stop at the step here, installing Torch and Torch Vision. But don't worry, give it time and let it finish. Now, since we added auto launch in our web UI user file. It will automatically launch as soon as this all has finished. I will wait for the installation to finish and return to you at that point. Now everything has finished for me. And as you can see in the background here, Stable Fusion or at Automatic 1111 is open in my browser. Now, if you did not add auto launch in your web UI user file, you need to copy this here, the local URL, and open a new tab and go to that page. That is literally the same as putting dash dash auto launch in. And what you see now is what people call stable diffusion. And here inside this user interface of Automatic 1111, you can start creating generative AI art. And this is done by typing your prompt here, this is a text that you want, a cat with a hat masterpiece. And then you press the big orange button. 
generate. And we have now generated our first image with Stable Diffusion. Now there are a lot of ways of how you can make your images better from a starting standpoint. And I will show you quickly some of the best ones. But first I need to show you how you can update your automatic 1111 if need be. And you will probably need to do that in the future. Remember how we went into our Stable Diffusion folder and we pressed up here and typed CMD. This gave us a command prompt for this folder. Now we used git to git clone to copy the files to our computer. If you type git pull, you will update your stable diffusion. It will literally check GitHub if there are any updates to automatic 1111 and copy them to your computer. As we just installed this, it says already up to date. So we have the latest version. There is a way to automatically update this. And if you open Notepad again and drag your web user file there, you can, if you want, add git pull here. Now that will try to update your automatic 1111 every time you start it. However, since sometimes the new updates can break things, I don't recommend updating all the time. So we will keep that out for now. Now, when it comes to prompting, Stable Diffusion prompting is a little more advanced than Midjourney. I recommend that you download a styles CSV file, which is a collection of prompts. I have one available for you, which me and the users of my Discord have made. The link will be in the description below. There's also going to be an instruction of how to install that. It's just dropping that file into your Stable Diffusion folder. And it says here, paste the style CSV into your SD folder. Let's go down. Here are some of the examples of the styles available. Let's click this and we download that file. Once you have that file downloaded, just drop that into your Stable Diffusion folder. Once you have restarted your automatic 1111, you will see those styles available here. And if you click that, you can see the available prompts. So if we try again, put in default negative and digital oil painting. And then again, we type a cat in a hat and press generate. We now have an image that is a little better than the previous one. So the way to get great images in Stable Diffusion is using a good Stable Diffusion model or a checkpoint file and good prompts which can be easily found in my styles file. Now there's a setting that I want you to change. And if you go into settings here and go to live previews down here, this setting should be at one or higher. If this is set at minus one or zero, you will not see your images as it generates. As we set it to one now, you will see as much as possible that is it's generating. Now this was a fairly fast generation, but if you're running more steps here, you will see. We will continue by adding some of the popular extensions. We're going to the extensions tab here, check available and press load from. Now all the available extensions are here. I recommend that you find one of the aspect ratio selectors and install them. There are several available. You can find one that suits your needs. We will also install something called control net. I will show you how this works in, in one of my control net tutorials, but this is the most powerful extension for Stable Diffusion and Automatic 1111. If you scroll up, you can see the process of the installation here. I also recommend that you install the canvas zoom. So find that and press install. This will make it so you can zoom in and out of your image. That will help with in painting changes to your image in detail. As that's finished, we'll go to installed and we'll apply and restart UI. Now there are lots of more extensions, but these will be the most important for you right now. The aspect ratio buttons are down here, so you can easily change the aspect ratio of your image. And the control the extension is here. And again, check one of my other control tutorials of how that works. I'm gonna link that in the top right corner. Now, just check the video here and we'll continue in our step-by-step -step guide of Stable Diffusion.